Hi guys, welcome to my first playthrough of Minecraft. Uh, we're going to be doing a new world today. Uh, it's going to be really fun. Now I know uh, the video is supposed to be about uh, some Monster Hunter build, but let's not worry about that. Let's let's focus on this. Uh, this again is my first uh, time playing. Uh, I'm pretty new, uh, so don't make fun of me in the comments, please. Uh, but yeah, oh, it looks like we already have wood for some reason. Uh, that's really nice. Hi, Mr. Piggy. Uh, so I think we should make a little crafting table. And, uh, we'll be good, and we'll, uh, yep, there we go, and... What does that sound? Oh. It's Steve! <laughs> Finally get to do a Steve build. It's been a minute, but I'm glad that we get to try out one of my favorite monsters. Now, the cool thing about Steve is he has a lot of perks to him. One, he has a high already crit rate which is awesome, we're gonna be using that today. The second is his kinship can cause bleed, and if you don't know what bleed does, basically imagine punching some armor, it breaks for a minute, and then you can punch the little soft spot inside the armor and does even more damage, if that makes sense. But overall, he's a really cool monster, so let's get started. So of course, first off, we have Might Gene XL, which is non-attack boost XL. This boost is our non-element attacks by 40 attack bonus. It can be found mostly on every non-element monster, and the best to get this is probably the Desert Den for consistency. After that, we have Critical Eye Gene XL, which boosts crit rate by 16%. Already has high crit rate, the monster itself, our boy Steve. So we're gonna add on a bit more for him, which is pretty good. It could be found on the majority of monsters in the game, this gene. Um, it's pretty natural to get, so you really don't have to specifically farm anywhere. I personally would just worry about all the other genes first, and then you'll probably get the rest on the way. After that, though, we have all res gene XL, which is all element defense. <sighs> all element defense boost XL. This boost is all element defense by 25 defense. It's good for tanking since this build uses pump up and another skill that lowers our defense, so we can kind of balance that out a little bit like a counter. The only problem with this gene is it can only be found on elder dragons, so it's going to be tough to get all this collected, but. If you want the easiest, I would say Elder Dragon Den. Do the first three eggs and then don't fight the boss. Just reset and keep trying. Now here's where the fun gets in because we're going to be using Critical Kinship Gene XL. Now if you've never used this, what this does is it makes critical hits fill up the kinship gauge super fast. One second we might be low and then one crit later we're already halfway through. This mixes really well too with Critical Gene XL and the natural crit that we have on Steve. So that's even better. Now this can be found on Ice Mon Steve in general. Um, best place also is the Ice Ape Den. Pretty much rare SR. Whichever you want to do, you'll find it. Now we move on to the skills. Our first one we have is Pump Gene L, which is Pump Up. This boosts all our element attacks by 70 for 5 turns, which is pretty awesome. But the disadvantage is it lowers all our element defenses by 30 for 5 turns. Now our all element defense boost gene kind of counters this, so this helps us to stay alive in certain situations. I'm sure you guys already know this gene is pretty OP, so this mix of crit in general is pretty strong. This gene can be found on Devil Joes. The easiest place to get this is the Dragon Egg Dens. I find them every single time I do one. Next we actually have a natural move on him, which is Thousand Blades Gene M, which is Thousand Blades. This is going to be our tech move. It does 110 power and has an 80% chance to cause bleed for two turns. So not only do you have a kinship skill that does bleed possibly, but you also have a natural move that does bleed. This can be found on, of course, Steve and normal Palamutes. It's hard to say the best place to get this honestly to you, so my only recommendations are doing either the Palamute Dens for the normal one, or doing the Jungle Dens, which usually works for me. After that, we have a big boy move, which is Nergigante Gene XL, which is Calamity Slash. This is going to be our power move. It does 154 power. The big problem with this move is that it does lower all our defense by 30 for three turns, but it gives us a regeneration of 20% of our HP for three turns. So again, it will kind of suck if you do pump up and this move. Um, you're going to be a little low on defense, but at least you kind of counter one of them, and on top of that, you get regeneration, so it's kind of hard to die. It is also pretty costly in kinship. I think it's like over a little bit than half our max kinship, but crit kinship will help with that a lot. This gene, of course, can be found on Nergigantes. Elder Dragon Eggs and Volcano Den are the best ways to find them. 
And our last gene is going to be Breaking Gene XL, which is Hellbreaker. This will be, of course, our speed move. It does 114 power and has a 40% chance to lower all defense by 30 for three turns. Now stack that with bleed and all the other stuff and all the buffs you got and imagine all kinds of damage you're doing. This gene, of course, can be found on Bloodbath Diablos. The Desert Dens and the Deviant Den are probably the best for this monster. And there you go. There's your Steve. I love him. I hope you love him. He's pretty cool. You can, of course, switch all the skills if you want. Some of them are pretty costly, but I felt like with the critical kinship, you can kind of get away with it mostly. But overall, it's a pretty strong build. As always, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, we have a lengthy list, but you know what? We're getting through it pretty quick, so we're going to see what we go for next. As always, thank you guys for watching, and hope you have a good day.